time value of money as well. Again, anything that's going to be a little bit further into the future in terms of how we're going to be financing our organizations, loans and whatnot that could be taken into consideration. We want to make sure that we're taking into consideration the time value of money concepts with a note just from a managerial type of standpoint, you can kind of separate what you're thinking about in terms of a managerial standpoint. If you're talking about the day to day kind of management type of concepts, they're typically going to be concerned with spending your you're at when you have that hat on right? where you can turn we're concerned with meeting our current obligations and doing what we need to do to meet those current obligations. And then of course, when we're looking at those types of decisions where we have a longer term horizon, then that's when the time value of money becomes more and more applicable. That's when we often need to have more formalized tools to help us with those types of decisions because there's a lot more factors involved. There's a lot more uncertainty that could be involved and the decisions that we are making uh, have a longer term impact. So we need to be more careful on those types of decisions. In other words, with those types of decisions, we want to make sure that we kind of the concept of measure twice and cut once uh, to get it right the first time would be better than if you're talking about other short term decisions where you have more leeway to basically learn through trial and error, make a lot of mistakes and then and then learn the best concepts as, as you go. So we, we can break